We're going to be examining Chinese checkers in the same light that we examine Pascal's triangle. In other words, we're going to be counting paths that your checker can take across a Chinese checkers board. Now, in the absence of jumping, basically what can happen, your checker has two options. As you move it forwards towards the other player's home, you can move it to the left or to the right. So there is a binomial or binary options. Now we're going to restrict our interest in moving one checker one at a time towards the dominant central position. And so we're going to be looking at how many paths there are to each location. So if I move my checker to there, I know that there's one path. I can only move it one pathway to get to there. If I move my checker to here, I know there's also only one path. If I move my checker to there, I know that there are actually two possible paths to get to that location. Okay, One to there, one to there, and I can only move to there from this position or this position, and so I know there are two possible paths to there. Now, when I get to this location, I know the only way that I could have gotten to the two preceding locations. I only have one way to get to this location, two ways to get to this location, and so to get to this location, I have two plus one or three possible pathways to that location. And so we're going to be looking at all the pathways to a particular location. 